Imagine a clock that's always 10 minutes slow. It consistently tells you the wrong time, but it's remarkably consistent in its error. Is this a good clock? The answer lies in an understanding of reliability and validity. Hi, I'm Matthew Courtney, and here we talk all about education research and data. If you're into that, be sure to subscribe to this channel and come be a part of our community. Two key principles that anchor the realm of education research are reliability and validity. Reliability refers to the consistency of a measure. If you were to repeat a study or test, would you get the same results every time? A reliable measure yields consistent results. Like our clock that's always 10 minutes slow, it's reliable because it's consistently off by the same amount. Validity is all about accuracy. Does the test measure what it's supposed to measure? If our clock indicates 2 p.m. when it is indeed 2 p.m., then it is a valid instrument. Concepts of reliability and validity can be further broken down into categories that help us to communicate more precisely about the work we're doing. Here are three types of reliability that you should know about. Test retest reliability. Would the same test yield similar results at different times? Inter-rater reliability. Would different researchers or teachers get the same result using the same instrument? Internal consistency. Are different parts of the test or questionnaire consistent in their results? And here are three important types of validity. Content validity. Does the test content adequately reflect what you're trying to measure? Criterion validity. Do the results correlate well with previously validated measures? Construct validity. Does the test measure the theoretical construct it's intended to measure? Let's consider reliability and validity within a school setting. An English teacher designs a test to measure their students' comprehension skills. After grading, she finds that scores are very similar when she retests a week later, indicating good reliability. However, upon closer examination, she realizes that most of the questions focus on grammar and vocabulary, with little emphasis on actual comprehension. Students who excel in grammar but struggle with comprehension still score high. Thus, while the test is reliable, its validity as a comprehension assessment is questionable. In research, reliability without validity can be misleading. A tool can consistently give results, but if those aren't accurate reflections of the intended measure, it's like being lost consistently in the same wrong direction. Conversely, a valid tool that's not reliable can be unpredictable. It's like having a compass that points north accurately only sometimes and then goes haywire every now and then. Reliability and validity are essential to our ability to monitor students and school progress. They ensure that our findings are not just consistent, but also true reflections of the reality. It's not about choosing between the two, but about ensuring that they work in tandem to uphold the integrity of research and evidence-based decisions. We must work to ensure that they are both present in all of the work that we do. If you found value in this video today, make sure you like and subscribe and check out some of the other videos on this playlist. I'll see you next time.